keep saying that these are book reviews unless you guys tell me not to. Book review. This is A Silent Voice, Volume 1, by Yoshitoki Oima. Um, obviously, book one in the A Silent Voice series. This is a manga. Um, this was published in 2015, but it says it was first published in 2011. It's translated, I would imagine, from Japanese. Um, so this is the art. It's kind of typical manga art. I do like manga. I just have to be, like, not overwhelmed by it to enjoy it because it's a very different style of drawing and it's also black and white, which is not my favorite. But, um, let's see. It doesn't say it on Goodreads, but it does say on the cover that it was nominated for a Will Eisner Comic Industry Award. Come on, focus. There we go. And then on the back, it says it's rated T, ages 13 plus. Which, if you guys are familiar with manga, you know they have ratings. Come on, there we go. Okay. So... This was really good. I like this. I picked it up because I heard somebody on YouTube talking about it. Um, and this character is deaf. And this character made fun of her when she was in their, um, his elementary school for a few months. He made fun of her so much that she ended up transferring. He, like, broke her hearing aids and all sorts of stuff. Um, the thing is... Everybody was in on it. Everybody wasn't necessarily in on it, but everybody was making fun of her a little bit here and there. Even the teachers, like, okay, I know I've been telling you not to make fun of her, but I understand where you're coming from, but still stop doing it. Um, and it's now, like, his senior year of high school, and he's run into her again. So most of this volume is the flashback to what happened when they were in grade school. So then he's run into her and then it's going to be volume two. So I'm definitely ordering volume two. I really like this. Um, now if you guys have seen my reviews of books with deaf representation, you'll know this, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'm not deaf. I'm hearing, but I'm the sign language interpretation program at my school. That's the degree I'm doing right now. So I'm familiar with and around deaf culture and such. So, that being said, um, I think the deaf representation in this was quite good. Now, keep in mind, this is, I'm pretty sure, set in Japan. So, their culture is very different from ours. Even with that, I think, I think her mom is a little aggressive. And they did refer to deafness as a disability. But it's a different, it's Japan, it's not the U.S., so I'm sure the deaf culture there is different than it is here. Um, otherwise, I thought it was really good. One of the teachers tried to get the whole class to learn sign language, and they would not do it, so one of the other girls volunteered because um, she didn't have an interpreter. Um, she was basically using a notebook to communicate, and for some reason, they still put her in choir class when there's a competition which they ended up losing which just made the kids hate her even more but um for the most part I think the deaf representation was done pretty well um I think um but yeah I would definitely recommend picking this up even if you're not picking up for the representation it's really good narrative about bullying even just this first volume because um all of the blame for all of the bullying got pinned on him to the point where even in high school, like, everybody bullies him. Nobody will be friends with him if he's, like, tries to be social and, like, hey, I'm interested in this thing that you guys are interested in, too. They're, like, oh, well, we're just not going to be interested in it anymore. And they're, like, way worse to him even years later than he was to her, or at least as bad. So... Um, definitely recommend this. Definitely pick it up. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this one. I'm gonna see if I can get the second volume from the library. And, yeah, questions, comments, opinions, let me know down below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!